got an email today. There's a launch date, October 10th. The auction ends at the end of the Hey, this is Mike with FrontRangeBoulder.com. We're at, here at a book signing at the Neptune Mountaineer. We're meeting with Bob D'Antonio. Bob is the author of Boulder Canyon Rock Climbs. Bob, tell us about the new book. Uh, yeah, it's a new kind of comprehensive guide to Boulder Canyon, uh, full cover, published by Wolverine Publishing, uh, a local Colorado publishing company. Uh, it's it's The book contains about 1,500 routes in Boulder Canyon with Lower and Upper Dream Canyon extending all the way up to the sports park. Uh, it's separated by uh, tried and sport climbing. It's equal amount of, it's about 750, 750 sport and uh, track climbs. It's broken down by color coded, uh, has check boxes, pretty uh, actually real progressive modern guidebook, full color action photos, essays by some local and uh, great climbers who contributed to Boulder Canyon throughout the years. A great history written by Pat Ament, our early history with his climbing and his years with uh, Dave Redrick and uh, and, and Royal Robbins. So. Boulder Canyon is a historic place near Boulder, Colorado. Tell us about that. Yeah, Boulder Canyon is probably one of the areas that really kind of set the standards back in the 60s uh, for free climbing in America. Royal Robbins and uh, Pat and Mint, freed athletes, feet of five pitch, uh, root on Castle Rock. It's rated uh, 11 AB right now. It was done in 1964. And probably at the time was the hardest rock climb, you know, technical, continuous rock climb in the country, if not the world at that time. So done with, uh, you got to understand that things were done with well, basically mountain boots on, a uh, little two-inch webbing, one-inch webbing, and uh, very primitive gear, pecans, no, no nuts. Royal Robbins was actually one of the first people to bring uh, clean climbing to America. He went to England and, and they used to collect little nuts off the railroad tracks when they were walking to the crags. So, did you ever meet him? At Royal? Yeah, yeah, I did. So Royal was one of the first people to bring that and then Chenard took off with it. That's cool. Yeah, with uh, kind of history. So a little history there. So Royal was an amazing climbing climber, did roots in El Cap, uh, climbed in the, all over the, around the world and just was an amazing uh, athlete. So Boulder Canyon is one of the last places near Boulder, Colorado where you can bolt. Do you think that's going to change soon? Uh, I hope not. You know, I mean, I think the people have to be realistic about their, their bolting and, and what they do and but also most of it's on national forests and uh, you know that's still open it doesn't have the restricted nature of the flat irons or el dorado for better or for worse but it's a to me it's a good thing because it's one of the few places you know in the boulder area you can go out and do a new route and and you know do it and clean your route without worrying about you know public officials coming down on you for your actions so so your new guidebook is warmly received where can people buy it uh, they can buy it here at, at neptune Mountaineering all through the, the outdoor stores and the, the front range. Uh, they can get it online at wolverinepublishing.com. The book has done really well. It's been received pretty well. It's sold a thousand copies here in about a, a month and a half. So it's doing really well. Thanks, Dan. See you later. We've been checking, chatting with Bob D'Antonio, the, the author of the new guidebook, Boulder Canyon Rock Climbs. Bob, thank you for your time. Okay. No problem. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate your help. For Fur Range Bouldering, I'm Mike Brooks. Peter Beal. What's the, what's the water about?